Endorsements for Vice President Harris are pouring in from lawmakers across the state following President Biden's historic announcement. KTLA Samantha Cortese live in our studio with that part of the story, Sam. Hi, Sandra and Lou. Yes, California, very familiar with the leading candidate to become the Democratic presidential nominee, Kamala Harris. Her political career was catapulted from within the Golden State, and now California leaders are voicing support for her presidential bid. It's also great for California. Uh, the former uh, California Attorney General, former Senator for the state of California, now Vice President, to be in the White House. Uh, it's going to be good for our state and good for our priorities. In a state full of progressive political heavyweights, endorsements are rolling in for Vice President Kamala Harris to become the next Democratic presidential nominee. Senator Alex Padilla replaced Harris in the U.S. Senate when she became vice president. We caught up with him today. The same uh, values and momentum that brought so much progress uh, and accomplishments during the last three and a half years will only continue when we elect Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States. Fellow San Francisco liberal Governor Gavin Newsom quickly voiced support for Harris, calling her tough, fearless, tenacious. California Senate candidate and Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff called for President Biden to drop out of the race, now saying he put his country first by doing so, allowing someone else to carry the torch. I have every confidence that she could beat Donald Trump, uh, and I'm uh, very excited about how quickly people are coming together to support her candidacy. It took about 24 hours, but former Speaker Nancy Pelosi also released a statement of support, posting this saying she has immense pride in endorsing Vice President Harris. Many people noticed that Newsom canceled his schedule for today. Many thinking maybe an all California ticket, but that is not likely. The 12th Amendment says at least one candidate cannot be from the state from which that vote is cast. If Harris chose Newsom as her VP running mate, they would likely lose California's 54 electoral votes. But Sandra, you pointed out, what about Bush Cheney? Mm -hmm. Cheney moved to Wyoming. And that's how that cleared the hurdle for electoral votes there. In the studio, back to you. All right, Sam, thank you.